Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jesse. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of touching circles and to find the solution of a quadratic equation, then here is an interesting problem. Consider a square. A semicircle and a quarter circle, both are touching each other, are drawn inside the square as given in the figure. It is given that the diameter of the semicircle is 12 units and the radius of the quarter circle is also 12 units. Then my problem is, what is the area of the square? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the outer rectangle is a square. Secondly, the semicircle and quarter circle are touching each other. Then, radius of the quarter circle and diameter of the semicircle are 12 units. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the area of the square. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. We know that area of a square is the square of its side length. So somehow we want to find the side length of the square. Now look at the left edge of the square. Suppose this part has length x units. Then the side length of the square will be 12 plus x. Now look at the top and right edges. These two small parts also will have length x units because the side length of the square is 12 plus x. Now, before moving forward, we have the semicircle and the quarter circle are tangent circles. So we have to check an important property of touching circles. Consider two circles touching each other at some point externally. Then the fact is, the centers of the circles and their touching point are collinear. That is they are lying on the same line. Now if the circles are touching internally, that is one circle inside the other, Still the result is true, that is, the centers and the touching point are collinear. Now come back to our problem and mark the centers of the semicircle and the quarter circle. Also mark their touching point. Then by the property we have told, these three points can be joined using a single line. Now note that diameter of the semicircle is 12 units. Then the radius will be 6 units. And therefore, this length, which is also a radius, is equal to 6 units. Similarly, observe the quarter circle. We have the radius is equal to 12 units. Then, this length, which is also a radius, is equal to 12 units. Now we can see a right triangle here. Check the side lengths. Left edge is equal to 6 plus x, top edge is equal to 12 plus x, and finally, the hypotenuse is equal to 6 plus 12, which is equal to 18 units. Now everything is just a matter of calculation. Here we have a right triangle with all the edges are given. So apply Pythagoras theorem. It will give 6 plus x whole square plus 12 plus x whole square is equal to 18 square. Further simplification will give 2x square plus 36x plus 180 equal to 324. That is, x square plus 18x minus 72 equal to 0. Now solve this quadratic equation to obtain the value of x. For a general quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, we have the solutions are given by x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a the quadratic formula. Now compare our quadratic equation with this general form. It gives a equal to 1, b equal to 18 and c equal to minus 72. Substitute these values and simplify. Finally, we will get x equal to 3 into minus 3 plus or minus root 17. But since x is length of an edge, it should be positive. Therefore, x is equal to 3 into minus 3 plus root 17 which is equal to 3 root 17 minus 9 
and this value is approximately equal to 3.36932 units. Now come back to our actual figure. We have the side length of the square is 12 plus x and x equal to 3 root 17 minus 9. Therefore, side length will be 3 plus 3 root 17 units. And hence, area of the square is equal to 3 plus 3 root 17 whole square, which is equal to 162 plus 18 into root 17 square units. This value is approximately equal to 236.2159 square units. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.